Hey, I'm Charnel with Riding Warehouse and today we'll be talking about the Explora Magic Hoof Boots and we'll go a little bit more in depth on the fit for these guys to make sure that you have the right properly fitted boot for you and your horse. So before I put this boot on my horse, uh, here I have Monty. Um, I just want to quickly mention about the really neat adjustability that these Explorer Magic Hoof Boots have. Uh, so they have it in the back, along the side. Um, so a couple, few different uh, points where you can adjust it. Personally, my guy uh, tends to have higher heels, so I definitely had to make the needed adjustments. I think that's really cool that they offer that uh, just that way it can fit a range of horses. Now I've already made these adjustments um, on this boot so I'm just going to quickly put it on and typically I just want to make sure that his boot or his hoof is nice and clean make sure there's no rocks or debris in there and it is going to be a snug fit so I just have to wiggle the boot a little bit making sure that his toe gets in the front set that down and because it is a snug fit I usually have to walk him around for a moment just to make sure that boot settles nicely around his hoof. So now that we've walked Monty around really briefly the boots have settled nicely around his hoof so we're just going to go over a quick little overview of what to look for to make sure that this boot is fitting properly. Uh, you can see that the boot is fitting snugly right around his hoof wall. There's no gapping or anything. You'll notice that there's two uh, windows on the uh, left and right side. Expansion windows, they allow uh, for hoof growth through the trim cycles of your horse. Um, one thing to note of if uh, you're trying on the boots and even if your horse has been recently trimmed and the hoof is growing way outside, there may be a little note that the boots may be a little too small for your horse. But you can see that's not happening with him here. Also a thing to note is that you want to make sure once the boot is settled on the horse that his heel is settling nice on the inside. There is a piece right back there. You want to make sure that his heel is settled nicely right in there as well. So now that we've noticed that, um, we'll go ahead and get these all strapped in. I will go ahead and strap this buckle over here first. I've already done the right side of that. So I'm going to go ahead and strap this one in. So you notice it's not really, really tight, but it's not loose or anything. You want it to just have a nice tension on there. And like I said, I already did the other side. Um, and then I'll go ahead and do this top strap. Just a side note too, you just want to make sure when you put that boot on, uh, you're making sure that the hair is not ruffled or anything. It's nice and settled. And you go ahead and snap this in and you'll notice that it is coming on. This strap is coming in on the left side. So that's kind of helping to give you a little uh, reminder that this will be for the left hoof. And for this strap, you just want to kind of make sure there's at least about one finger comfortably fitting in there. And then um, you should be good to go. And just as easy as putting it on, we'll go ahead and take that off. Just do the little snaps here on little sides. Pop those back. Same on this side. And then we'll just grab the back and then pop that off. You're good to go. Thank you for checking this out. And if you would like to know a little bit more about these Explorer Magic Hoof Boots and about the review on these guys, please visit ridingwarehouse.com.